Shave them, don't just have ultimate mutton chops. <laughs> That'd be weird. But okay. You could be like with Star. Handlebar. With the handlebar mustache. <laughs> star. What is that dude? Like uh, community? Did you watch community? I didn't watch a lot of community. Starburns? Yeah. It's this guy with like some massive like some starburn. <laughs> some star uh what do you call these sideburns? But yet they shaped them into stars. Yeah. So it's like they call them starburns. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. That was actually pretty neat. Yeah. Hey guys, this is Talking with Vritos episode twenty. <laughs> you guys all know him here with the Rubo. We're gonna be talking about some things, a lot of things. We're gonna talk about some Charlie Brown because he saw the movie yesterday. I saw the movie. But right now we're just gonna shoot right, the shit. Two days ago. Two days ago he saw the well, movie. Well, it doesn't matter because they're not gonna know. That's just gonna mean you saw the damn movie, right? I saw it. Yeah. I know what's to be. It doesn't matter what day you saw it. I saw it on Tuesday in 3D. Gosh darn it! At 5:10 p.m. What'd you like? What'd you think about it? I just liked it a lot. Yeah. I thought it had a really good moral. Uh, I thought the animation was done really well, and it actually had like kind of a stutter to it. You know, did you notice that? I did notice that that like, they they said that they wanted to mimic the art of the actual animation yeah. from the animated movies, yeah. and so I thought they executed that rather yeah, well. Yeah, I actually told Jerry that, and I was like, uh, the, the other Jerry. Yeah, and I, he was like, I don't know what you mean. Like, I told him like, go back and watch one of those old movies and see how they kind of like stutter or or kind of slower. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of how it feels. Like it, it look, it feels like one of those movies. Uh uh-huh. You know, it feels. It really like, did. Uh, bon voyage, Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown, and Don't Come Back. Yeah, yeah. I think I really liked Bon Voyage yeah. back in the day. But what I, I like this one, yeah, because even the style of art movie it was all about hitting those marks. Yeah. You know, I, I just kept thinking, you got to hit the mark. You got to hit the mark. It's all about okay. Do you? Uh, okay. Do you have the woman with the warm around voice? Do you have Charlie Brown and Linus sitting down in counseling sessions? Do you have yeah. Lucy um, with the psychiatric? Yeah, part. yeah. Well, with that, with the lemonade stand, with yeah. the five cents, and then her obsession with um, Schroeder. Mm-hmm. Do you have uh, uh, Penny? What's her name? Peppermint Patty. Peppermint Patty. Do you have her? Like, hit the marks for me, dude. Yeah. It is. They really got his like doom and despair just oh really God. down because he was just so depressing. He was so depressing that he depressed me in this movie. I was just like, "Damn it, Charlie Brown, just fucking cheer the fuck up, man. It's I, all right, bro." I watched it and I was like, "God damn it, I relate way too much with Charlie Brown." Right? <laughs> Have you ever did that? I've done yeah. that too. Even as a kid, I've done that. But because Charlie Brown was just so morose, and yeah, you just depressing. feel sorry for the cat. So when something good happens to him, you're like, you actually celebrate Dude. it. You're happy to see celebration with such such disappointment. In that yeah, life, you know? it's the poor guy. And if you actually feel like that, because like actually, you know, if he was like a real kid, they put him like on Xanax or something. <laughs> they put this kid on <laughs> some type of antidepressant because yeah. just was it him or was it just the shit around him that just that kept happening to him? Honestly, you know, it's it's kind of a mix of both because like yeah. There's a lot of stuff that's like, dude, just cheer up. And then some parts it's like, oh, man. I feel you just like can't that. catch a break. Yeah, you can't like, catch why break. can't you fly a kite, Charlie Brown? Yeah. Like, come on, man. Bro. He's got, it feels like he has a lot of social anxiety with like with that girl, you know, the red-headed girl. Yes. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of anxiety there. Well, that could have been just kids, though. Kids being kids. Because you ever yeah. remember that first, that girl you have a crush on that you didn't want to talk to, but you really. Uh, I talked to her all the time. Oh, uh, But, you know, <laughs> I did not have to tell you that. Well, I always had crushes on girls. Because she was my best friend. Well, oh really? Yeah, for the longest time. Oh, and then she see. moved to uh, Chicago. Oh, see, that was different though. Mm. I'm not talking. Okay, you had a different. So you never had a crush on a girl thereafter, like oh, Afterwards, in I childhood, had... it has to be like around their age. What is their age? Is like nine, ten? Oh, I, I thought they were younger. Like really? Eight, I thought. I, I don't Seven, see eight. eight. I, don't I know. see. Oh. I don't know. Okay, let's go in between nine. Because Sally was, she was uh, obviously in like kindergarten. Because like he said, like yes, she is. After yes. all that time, but uh-huh, she's Sally. not that. She's not that much of a difference in height and stuff. You know, when you look. But at they seem a little bit too mature <laughs> for for yeah, like some for eight, some yeah. six year olds or eight year olds. I know reading because I have an eight year old. He's almost turning eight. He's dumbass. <laughs> 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 he don't act like Charlie Brown. <laughs> Well, I don't see him, like, crushing on girls or anything like that. He thinks he's going to marry your sister, which is kind of weird. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, yeah, you need to get out of the house, bro. Because <laughs> 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 you're not marrying your sister. <laughs> you little freak. <laughs> get out and go talk to some people. 
Oh my goodness, you got a world, a world to look forward to, sir. <laughs> all kinds of ladies. Like, look at that little girl right there. Go crush on her. But you know, he's all innocent and stuff. But I don't know. At his age, I was all into. I was. I actually had a crush on a girl, and I had this like sad story. I'm not gonna repeat because it's kind of it's kind of weird because adolescent like sexual adolescent behavior is just weird. Yeah. We know it goes on. We probably experienced it, but. It's odd to talk about it. And this is, because this girl was, because to me, like, as I look back on it now, I'm like, I'm pretty sure this girl was abused. Uh, <laughs> no, seriously, because there's no way, no, no, that whatever happened transpired between her and I should have happened. But she she was one of those girls where she, she knew I had a crush on her, but she keep that shit on the cover. Mm-hmm. Like, if she would talk to me or flirt with me or if we did anything, she would keep it on the cover because, I don't know, maybe she just didn't really like me, but whatever. But so, I don't know. That age just seems weird to be having those type of. I guess you do have it. Yeah, whatever. But um, <laughs> but so we we like the art. The art was good. And They have the sensibility, right? Yeah. I I think they got that right. They they really did capture the sensibility of the peanuts and Charlie Brown oh, and yeah. what it, it, it was felt about. Like a peanuts movie. It really did. Yeah. It felt like a peanuts movie. Uh, one thing that I kind of was like eh, about was actually some of the music, like some of the music that they actually used again, I liked, enjoyed hearing, but I kind of wish they didn't repeat it so much. Yeah, true. I hear you. But at the same Put time, some score. of the original score wasn't that great, honestly. It didn't feel like jazz, you know, it didn't feel that jazzy feel yeah. of like the Peanuts music. Do you, you think know? they would have? So did they change it? I don't know. You think, or I was have. it the same thing, but... It probably would need to be jazzed up for the 2015 crowd. Maybe. I don't know. Like, um, Add a little something, I, something I, some more drums in the back. The, I have the Charlie Brown Christmas soundtrack, and I listen to it. You know, I actually like it a lot because it's really good jazz music. Yeah. You know? It's really it's nostalgic, and it's just really entertaining to listen yeah. to. And like the beginning part, you know, the you know, yeah, and then went to that. That's from the that's from the Christmas soundtrack, right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then like, and then some of the popular music I felt was like, it's good for the kids, but I was like, kind of felt like feels like not right in a Peanuts movie. Which one? Oh, the girl, oh, uh, the Megan Trainer song. Yeah, but they were in the day at the dance, right? Yeah. I just didn't like that damn song. Yeah. I don't like that like, song. I don't like, like Megan Trainer. <laughs> <laughs> like, have you ever seen her before? No. I'm like, if you have a ticket to go see Megan Trainer, I can understand Adele. I can understand Mariah Carey. Those people don't move when they're on stage. Yeah. They just stand there. But yeah. Megan Trainer, she she tries to do some movement. She tries to dance. But she's not moving. She's like basically, yeah, she's in one place moving her around her ter- torso and maybe kicking her feet a little bit but i'm like what the f-? i'm like move around the damn stage woman right. damn what the hell are you doing you're not dancing if you're not gonna dance then don't freaking move just stand there and serenade sorry that's my beef with that plus i don't like that song um i like i like the song uh during like the montage of the genius moments yeah like i like that song but that was in the trailer and it's just kind of a nice song to hear yeah like but it feels why of- was it was well, because it just it just it just sounds nice. It's just a different, yeah. It's just a nice song. So basically, your whole, your whole like, beef with it with this was just making trade a song. Exactly. It was all it was the, shit. Actually, all the trailer songs were in the movie, which is weird. You never get that. True. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. you know, usually never. Get yeah, because the trailer's only like two and a half minutes. Maybe. Yeah. And then like all the songs that were in the trailers were in the movie because they used them over. They kept yeah. using them, recycling. Yeah. So the soundtrack would be like maybe like an EP. Yeah. <laughs> like, like with like six there's songs. There's like one other movie I can think of that ever did that, and that was like Guardians of the Galaxy. They had more. Yeah, I know they had more, uh, but they had a I'm lot saying, of it. I'm saying the, in the, the songs from the trailers yeah. were the ones they used in the movie. Still, yeah. they don't normally do that with movies. I always like the ones where you don't get anything. Like, uh, um, like I guess I'm gonna use it for example. Well, no way. We talk about soundtracks later, but uh, we talk about Snoopy. But okay, during that one scene with the dance, one thing <laughs> did that just make you happy with the way they were dancing? Yeah. Because they really yeah. did have they had that one freaking out dude in the middle and just like, the zombie walk. Kid. Yeah, the zombie walk kid. They had a, they hit those points. See, it's all about hitting the I'm right a, points. I'm a bad person because I was like, if I don't see the zombie walk kid, I'm gonna this gets marked down a point. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. And they had the dude in the background. He's just doing, like the one yeah, guy. Yeah, in the middle, and he's just doing his little. 
He's like kind of, that kid is just like kind of just like you know jamming, but just jamming in his head, yeah. and just by himself because <laughs> they had that cat. They had everyone doing their dances. It was cool, and then you had Thick Pen. He's Thick Just man. just Pig Pen being just Pig Pen. Oh my goodness! And these little dust or ruffles around him. <laughs> I thought they that was really well animated right? too with that. Yeah. That. And one thing I I was like very impressed with the brother. Like, they had, what's his name? What's his name? Winston. What was Franklin. his name? Franklin. What's his name? Franklin. You talking about the black one? Yeah. It's Franklin. One thing I didn't like, I like the way he danced, <laughs> but I think they could have gave him some more, some fresher moves, in yeah. my opinion. Come like, God, bro, I'm pretty sure you can dance better than every one of those damn peanuts. <laughs> I'm just saying. But I liked his fade, though. Did you see how they yeah, rendered his yeah. fade? That, thing, that fade was pretty cool. Was. He had a little curly batch on the top, but he had a little fade on the top. I'm on, on the sides, I'm like, that was pretty damn dope. You know but still, he should have danced better than all of them. Yeah, speaking of the hair. Uh, with Charlie Brown, did you notice the two weird hair sticking out? Yeah, of his my head? wife was like, "Was that always there?" And I can't remember. Yeah, was I it? Don't. It it probably is. They probably just paid so much attention to. Yeah. Things. And then like his one little hair looked like a literal hair. Yeah. Just the hair. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was so funny. Right. <laughs> they, I think they they rendered a lot of those. Even like Lucy's hair, you see how oh, just yeah. well slick back it was. You see the strands of hair oh, and, and the Linus's? glimmer. Yeah, like, and Linus's. Right. Yeah. He had like the hair it's and then like the strands. You know. <laughs> That looks so good. What the know? hell? <laughs> come on, Linus. Comb your damn hair. <laughs> did they have a couple episodes where he did comb his hair? I, I don't know. And they remember. like, I think they were kind of like, um, I guess he had a date. Didn't he have a date? He had a crush on some girl and they were making him all like debonair. Presentable, yeah. yeah, presentable. And they co- actually combed his hair <laughs> over to I one side. So that. he had like this really like kind of suave kind of, well, I guess, what are you going to say? posh look to him yeah. you know kind of hippie but not really not not a hipster but not really so it was a, i can't remember that they did I, I don't remember do that, that to him but what the fuck is up with this hair comb your hair bro he does not comb his <laughs> he hair doesn't know. he just gets out and did he like mess it up <laughs> even okay, more like you're complaining about that pig pen take a goddamn bath pig pen was cool because pig pen pig pen pig pen was comfortable in his own skin pig pen was like dude i'm dirty Pigpen I'm has, on. has fucking, uh, what's it called? You uh, fucking... Horrible parents? <laughs> <laughs> no, that. But no, like, a bunch of, like, gross, like, skin diseases, you know? Like, the, what's it called? Um, ringworm. <laughs> oh, did he? He, he probably had those. He th- being that dirty. Would you let your kid play with Pigpen? I think I have let my kid. No, <laughs> I think I've played with a Pigpen in my life. Because, you, you know, you know. That there's always that one dirty kid. There is. There's always seriously kids. I, and I always felt sorry for the dirty kid. I don't know if I was a dirty kid. It's probably at times where it seems like uh, I would have like the same pair, maybe two pairs of jeans I would have to wear every day. Fuck that. I don't want to go into a soft story in my life. But sometimes there were those instances where you just didn't have the clothing. Yeah. But um, it's, it's like you have to wear those every day. What the hell? Like how do we wear these every day? They get dirty. And you're a boy. Yeah. Boys run around and get dirty. But I'm just saying. So there was always that one dirty kid. And I, I, don't know, I always felt sorry for the dirty kid because it's just like, oh, that sucks. But, you know, because I didn't have much, but I always felt sorry for the dirty kid because he still got picked on no matter what, you yeah. know. And it's, you know, maybe a cool cat, but, you know, he just didn't have, you know, good parents. So is that his parents? <laughs> or just a situation, his situation, his financial situation, situation just wasn't, you know, you know as Cause Big ben looked like rewarding. He- he was dressed up as like a 1930s depression kid. Yeah. 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 So. Because when he got clean, it's like, did you just come from the fucking 30s? That's true. Yeah. What the hell was that? Yeah. Maybe he just had hand me down, hand me down, hand me down, hand me down clothes. Yeah, maybe. They're just poor. How old are these peanuts? Peanuts is from like the 50s? Yeah. yeah. So you got to think. <laughs> it wasn't too far along. <laughs> but it was a lot of Charles Schultz, like, young life. You know, yeah, there was a lot of stuff based around that. Like Snoopy was based on a beagle he had. Yeah, you know, huh. that beagle that ate ten cups of honey. Yeah, or something weird like that. Now my thing is my thing with the with the the, the, the peanuts was always Snoopy. Yeah, I don't know. If I just love Snoopy. Heard- I like Snoopy because of his his imagination. You know, Snoopy was always getting into some crazy shit, but it was through his imagination that he was doing that. Him with his like <laughs> with Woodstock. They were just going on these damn adventures, and they were just so fun. And you just, I don't know. Like, even what in that one uh, special when he, what, weren't they lo- looking for Woodstock's family? They, he left with Woodstock, but then Charlie Brown and them were looking for Snoopy. Yeah. They had to go on a hunt looking for Snoopy. But uh, what is that special? I can't remember what that one's called. 
There's so many. Yeah. There's, there's so uh, many that they don't even show anymore. They only show the holiday ones. They only ones. show the holiday ones. That's Why it. is that? I don't know. Let's just keep showing the other ones, too. Always on CBS, they would always play those. Yeah. Those Snoopy, oh, those, those Charlie Brown cartoons. Why are you mad, Charlie Brown? Is that it? I don't know if that's it. Well, it's something Snoopy. Snoopy Come Home? Snoopy Come Home. There you go. There you go. That was a pretty sad one. You know, they were on the train, and they were all wet, and they were all starving and hungry. Yeah, and yeah that was pretty sad, too. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not. Like, I, I think Snoopy's probably one of my least favorite characters. Really? Things, but I loved him in the movie. Uh-huh. I Wasn't he just crazy him. in the movie? He was freaking he was wild. It was, he was fucking hilarious. <laughs> and just, like... <laughs> the the whole Red Baron scenes, like I thought I was yes. gonna hate them, honestly. Uh-huh. But I loved it. It was so well animated. It had a nice little story, little subplot exactly. there. Exactly. He had it's his own really little story, the story, uh, storyline. Is I liked it because I I was always like, oh, I read those comic strips, and then just the Red Baron thing, and just wow, you know, yeah. they were able to take that. It's, see, it's like I said, it's all about hitting the points. That, that would make this movie enjoyable. Don't try to go on some tangent and try to make this shit your the own. The voices aren't right. Fuck you. That, you know what I'm saying? Jessica said. Because it's not the same damn people. Exactly. <laughs> except They're for, probably dead. Except for Wampa Wampa Lady. That's the same person, apparently. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, crazy. Yeah. How old is she? I don't know. She old. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, they probably had a few over the probably. course of this yeah. series or years. But, like, did but, you notice she had, like, a nickname to her, though? So it's like. Maybe what they, was it? Something trombone. Yeah, something trombone. Yeah, in the credits, I saw that. Yeah. Miss Trombone? Yeah. Also, did you think it was weird that they had, like, like, they had a actual one star in there? Uh, Freaking, um... Christine Chetowith. Right? And Why? I told talk. my wife I complained after that. that was and she so was um, stupid. the, the she girl, was, the poodle. Was the dog. Yeah. What's was her was name? Fifi. Fifi. Yeah. How the fuck? She didn't speak. She, didn't speak. <laughs> she just made noises. Of, like, <laughs> I was that telling was, my wife, I'm like, that why do they worse. have Kristen Chittowitz and Chittowitz or what the fuck your name is Chitterworth. in this movie? Chittowitz? It's Chittowitz. Chittowitz or something like that. I'm like, why? Why? She didn't say a damn word. It doesn't make sense. It's How like, much money did you pay her to right? make noises? This is That's worse than the Alvin and the Chipmunks. Fuck. Yes. It's just a synthesizer. Yeah. What is your problem here? I don't under. Oh my goodness. That was awful. That was I was. So that was dumb. bad. That's, that was horrible. That's like my other thing. I was just like, that is stupid. That was dumb. Oh. You had a bunch of kids doing these voices, and they did a great. And job. And then you put her in it. Yeah, you put her. Why? What the fuck. That was dumb. I'm sorry. That was just totally stupid. There's no use for her in this movie. There's no use for you to. But there's, there's no reason for you to spend that much money on her to but do it's that not part. Not a reason not to do the movie. Oh, hell no, no. You that's still just a movie. little nitpick. That is, uh, yeah, that's, that's nitpicking. That's a literal nitpick. But literal like, at the nitpick. same time, it's so stupid. So damn stupid. It's so dumb. Why? It's Why? pointless. Totally pointless. <laughs> totally, completely pointless. Oh, my goodness. You just reminded me of that. Because I said that shit. I was sitting there. I was like, right. with my wife. I'm like, why, the f- why did they have her in this movie? Well, who is she? Phoebe? Phoebe didn't say a damn thing. I know. She's just like, hey. <laughs> help me. Stupid. Maybe she did, but then they cut it. I doubt. <laughs> no, they didn't. Dogs don't talk. To yeah, they, they, <laughs> all they can say is like "no." Like yeah, like that. Like Snoopy. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I thought. <laughs> otherwise, man, I can understand why it got like a ninety-five on Rotten Tomatoes. It was damn. I did not know it was that high. Yeah, it was wow. a very lovable film. I completely walked out of there just like wow. Because exactly. at first I, I thought it was like, gonna be shit. Yeah. Even when they came out with the the trailer. Uh, when, when they said that they were making a movie, I was like, "Oh bullshit! Right. <laughs> this is it's, gonna be it's crap." To make money. It was yeah. just to make money. This, this is gonna be time. crap. They're running out of content. They they're just mad because they can't make Calvin and Hobbes. So let's talk about <laughs> comic strips, you know, because yeah. this is basically that's where it dev- deviated from Charles Schultz's famous comic strip. So what about some other comic strips that you liked back in the day? Uh, you know, honestly, All of them. I love Far Side. Far Side, yeah. Far Side is one of my favorites. It's so bizarre and just yeah. So wasn't funny. it like a weird Twilight Zone thing? It, it's that there was a few of them that I got, but then I really wasn't. They, don't, they you only have like reoccurring kind of like characters. Like yes, he just always draws cows and farm animals. and yeah. stuff and fat people. Yeah, it's, it was it rather cynical or just like condescending it's, humor or it's both. Yeah, it's honestly. like both. So I really, I guess I was just too ignorant for that. <laughs> I never really got it. I'm just like, what the fuck? I always thought it was funny. Like I got. Where Cal says chicken move. From. What? <laughs> <laughs> I got like a one of those like one of the mini trade paperbacks they have. 
but I got like a fucking huge trade paperback of it one time, and like oh. I read through it and it just made me laugh each every time. Yeah, and I have no clue uh, where it is. I gear. Yeah, <laughs> I went straight towards Snoopy and Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Garfield. Yeah, Snoopy, Snoopy Garfield. Garfield and Calvin and Hobbes. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to get that book. I think I'm just gonna buy that book. I think I, I have it digital, but I want the hard copy. Yeah. They have the c- collection of Calvin, Calvin and Hobbes, but I want a hard copy of it, but with the hard cover. Yeah. So I think that'd be a cool thing. What if I, you know, put it like on that table and mm-hmm. like a little coffee table book, it's but it's not really a coffee book. table book, yeah. right? Because I want to go back and read all those because I just love that. You know, because you ever see that image that they came out with way back? I think we posted it on the site once upon a time. Maybe mm-hmm. it was Josh who wrote about it. Or, you know, it's just Calvin, uh, an adult Calvin, right? Yeah. Going up to the attic, and he pulls out, and he's pulling out of the attic, he's pulling out Hobbs, like the stuffed animal. Mm-hmm. I thought that was so damn adorable. It was. <laughs> it, was it, it was another image that came out, too. Oh, I, I want to say it was New York Times or something, but it had... Um, I don't know. There's another image of Calvin Hobbes. I'll post it on the side. I think I still have it on my computer because I look at it all the time because I just thought it was a beautiful image. Oh, Sally. Sally. No, no. Wait. His um, his own Susie. daughter. Susie. No, wait. No, no. Susie. Calvin's. Susie Calvin has daughter. a daughter. And she and he gives her Hobbes or something like that, mm-hmm. I think. It was some. Well, I don't know. They have a lot of like iconic images out there. Just images that, you know, some somebody has just drawn that are just so touching. It was like so visually beautiful. It's like. Oh, because it just represents like how we've all grown up and Calvin, you know, Hobbes, you think about them just in their crazy imagination. They just grew, you know, you have to grow up. And mm-hmm. so how do you deal with that? How do you do that? You know, I don't know. It's kind of cool. How do you do that? How do you get out of that? You don't. You don't. You See, don't. I, I realize that. I realize that now as an adult. I'm almost 40. I'm going to say that shit on this. I'm going to say it. You know me. Uh, almost 40. And I do not feel. I always had this problem. I'm going to create like a, a blog about this but it's gonna be on like my own site but because i always wanted to talk about this because i talked about this before i think mm-hmm. being like a pseudo adult you know you're an adult but yeah you don't feel it it's not like feeling like an adult yeah. you know because you still like and enjoy the things that you did as a kid you know and maybe now you see it and you can embrace it a little bit more or you just continue to have that in your life but with you know, I I just think, that, and so that's how I think it relates to like Charlie Brown and seeing this mm-hmm. movie and finally watch it and see it. Like, wow, it just took you back to when you just enjoyed childhood and enjoyed watching them enjoy childhood. Is I don't know. It's maybe it's not for a lot of people like that um, introspective, but the only people who won't like the Peanuts movie are evil, soulless people. Yeah, but for me, I <laughs> thought I was just. Wow, it just took me back. I'm like, wow, I just, I just like that. I like that, you know, because they still just dream. You know, they still have fun. You know, it's just these characters that, I don't know. And hopefully, I don't know if kids now will get into it, but it did well. I Fifty think, million is not nothing to blink at, yeah, you know, in the box say. office. I think one of the things with the whole peanuts thing is that everybody shows their kids every holiday special when they come. Yeah, up, yeah. No matter what, if you can get the I little bastards rem- to sit down. I remember this one guy who came in uh, this weekend. He had, like, maybe a three-year-old boy, and he brought him, and he's like, you know, I just showed him the Great Pumpkin, and, I'm like, he's really excited for this. And I'm like, oh, and I'm guessing in, like, what, next week, uh, Thanksgiving one's coming Soon, on. Yeah. You can show him that? And he's like, oh, heck yeah. yeah. And then two weeks after that, Christmas one. He's like, Christmas, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. Yeah. So... I don't know. And then, like, comic strips, were you one of those kids where your dad just, or your parents just gave you the, <laughs> gave you the comics? We never got the newspaper. Oh, really? But whenever I went to the office with my mom, because she would take me. Yeah. And they would be like, here's the comics, Chris. That's how it would always Yeah, always it's comics. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, and one of my fixations back in the day was, I liked Charlie Brown and stuff, but then after a while, they got boring to me. I don't mm-hmm. know why, so I deviated to Calvin and Hobbes and Garfield. Yeah. Seriously, eight Garfield keep your attention. Eighth, I don't know. Eighth, uh, year eight to ten, I was all Garfield and Calvin and Hobbes, but mostly because I even bought those books. Mm-hmm. You know, you get through school. You know, you got the school book order, and yeah. they would have these like those little horizontal, like maybe about yeah, four like, inches, uh, but then like nine inches wide. Yeah, yeah those little books. Yeah. <laughs> I would always buy those because I was just obsessed with Garfield. And just to be funny, I used to uh, volunteer. 
uh, to draw comics for the school paper. And basically, it was just a paper. It was like it was put together by us. And um, we it basically, it's just like printed on like a sheet of paper. <laughs> but but it, was, it was like our newsletter. So yeah. I was a part of this little what is it, journalism class. Mm-hmm. But and so I would just draw the comics. And but my thing was. <laughs> I plagiarized the shit out of everything. You talked about this yeah, before, I think actually, I, thought, yeah. I told you. With the Calvin and Hobbes thing. Right? I, had, yeah, yeah. I, had this, um, <laughs> I had this group, I had this, these two characters that were just totally just rip off from Calvin and Hobbes. And I played that shit. I was like, it was mine. I came up with my own story. Yeah. I designed my characters based on them. <laughs> and, you know, kids would come to me, this is just Calvin and Hobbes. I was like, no. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but yeah, it was totally. Yeah, like what that. the hell is Calvin and Hobbes? Like this right here. I'm like, oh, what? Put him in the face. So, <laughs> I got to silence That's this cute. one. That's cute. <laughs> and drag him to the janitorial closet. <laughs> I left a few of them in the janitorial closet. <laughs> it was just uh, just to hush them. <laughs> no, I was just kidding. But no, I used to play the shit out of that. Um, but I really loved those and. I think it was the comic strips that got me actually into comics, which yeah. really weird enough. Because actually, this comic strip, my dad was like, oh, you like these things? And he started buying me comics. You know, and then Archie, because they had Archie, Archie yep. too. And then Archie was in paperback forms, yep. uh, form. And I was like, oh, then I can buy the paperbacks? And my dad would take me to the store, and my allowance, take my allowance, I would buy the Archies. Mm-hmm. And then I would buy, like, the the comic books. And I would try to, you know, buy most of those. So, and yeah. then from there, I went to Wolverine. <laughs> It was a huge jump. That's a, that's a big part. Though. Right. <laughs> so, uh, how did you get to like like the, the start off with comic strips? Was that your main your first? I think the first thing that got me into comic books was probably actually um because like I had like random comics, but I never like bought multiple ones and started reading them or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think what like got was... me into comics more was actually Mad Magazine because they ah. they had a very comic. They had a bunch of different comic strips. You know, the Spy vs. Spy, yeah. other characters, and, like, the movie parodies. They're they're a comic book, pretty much. Yeah. And I I used to read so much Mad Magazine in middle school. I always crazy. thought Mad Magazine was bad because <laughs> they were a little <laughs> vulgar. Yeah. And so I thought it was bad, and I couldn't, <laughs> um, like, because every time a kid Joke had it, kid. I was like, it was like I'm looking at a Playboy, I was like hide it yeah. just so I could like read some of it and stuff. Because some every once in a while you have a kid bring it to school and they're yeah. like, oh, he showed me this. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's kind of, ha ha ha. I laugh at it, but I always thought it was like sinful to actually read this magazine because it was just that much that vulgar. And yeah. I think still I was actually bussed in from like to a Baptist school in Alaska, so we used to do that as well, like Sunday school. So I was still within my my roots of like, you know, Southern Baptist, you know, mm-hmm. coming from Arkansas and then going to Alaska. But that's still like, you know, hey, you guys going to church. <laughs> so <laughs> we, he wouldn't go, but <laughs> we would have to go. So I still had this sense of like, oh, this is bad that I'm watching this. <laughs> I, shouldn't, I shouldn't be reading this. I shouldn't be reading these there's comics. There's gore. <laughs> and there's, oh, yeah, a lot. They really didn't have much. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's, yeah. Like, it's just, it's silly humor. Kind of gross booger, at times gross too. Stuff, yeah. yeah, I wasn't it's really like, into called, booger stuff either. Um, it's like uh, garbage pail kids. Yeah, know, that kind of gross. Things. Oh, those little things. Those were, but those were way yeah, gross. Okay. <laughs> yeah, those were like gross. Uh, and then they had a movie. And they had a movie, which was fucking it's, disgusting. It's, it's I did not like that movie. Movies. I'm like, I hate this with a passion. It's one of the worst movies. I didn't like the damn cards. I don't like this. Why am I watching it? Oh, because you know. It was a movie. The kids want to if I could watch a movie, I watched it. You know what I'm saying? If I was able to. But a lot of it was on base, so it wasn't first run. We would get, like, the second stuff. Because I think the movie, the nearest movie theater was, like, at the at the biggest town away in Fairbanks. And mm-hmm. I have I had never been to, like, one of those. My first movie theater was in Alaska. Yeah. Like, watching Land Before Time on, like, the their screen, which was out, like, maybe two months before that. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> you see it way after the fact. So. But, yeah, but yeah, I read a lot of fucking Mad Magazine. I also read a lot of Batman comics because Paul was really into Batman, so yeah, I was reading yeah, his Batman. Yeah, yeah. But like, honestly, I never really got, like, I think also in middle school, like, I got into Archie in that time also. Yeah. It's Mad Magazine and Archie. That's what I read. Mad and Archie. <laughs> oh, we got to talk about some Archie soon later. I still I, have that I one. Have you see that? Remember I ordered that book? Yep. <laughs> The death of Archie. The death I want to talk about it, but I never opened it. Oh. I know. I need to open it so we can yeah, read, read it and we'll talk about it. All right. <laughs> got to let you borrow uh, Afterlife with Archie. Or 
Yeah, I've heard about that. It's really good. Really? Like, holy shit, it's really good. Shiitake mushrooms, okay. Yeah, it feels like... Uh, I have it on my comicology thing. I could probably order it. some up, yeah. Read it. How many issues is it? I think it's... I, don't I think know you can buy the series, to, bro. I got the what's it called. I got a trade back of the first volume. Ooh. And then there's like that'd a probably couple, be better. I think there's like a second one coming out soon, or there might be one out already. But like, uh, art's really good. It's very serious. Okay, how do we incorporate this with the website? How, and we need a name. You got to base it on some food, bro. Um, <laughs> sugar, sugar. What's that have to do with the that? song from the Archies, the cartoon series. God damn it, Chris, you're a genius. <laughs> oh, that was fucking beautiful. I, it didn't click until he clicked. Okay, that was genius. Sugar, sugar. Look for that. Coming to you guys. We're going to talk about some comics. That's what we need to do. We need to talk about comics. We, we don't do. talk about them that much, about- man. We need to. Yeah, I know. Because like I hardly ever read my comics, and I picked up a bunch of comics. Recently, yeah, too. Like I picked up the first volume of Sandman. I still haven't read. I still it. had to read those three that you gave me. Like, it wasn't until like uh, my junior year and soft or uh, senior year. That's when I read a lot of comic books. Oh, really? Yeah. No, no, it was my senior <laughs> year. That's when I started reading a lot of. No, no, it was like across. No, did I make the comic team? Yeah, it was kind of from <laughs> sophomore on. Yeah. Because I would go to the, uh, Heroes and Villains because it was easy to get there from my school. Yeah, I would just take the number eight bus. Oh, yeah. Stop yeah. there and then go to Park Place Mall and then take the number three home. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. You were a bus rider. I was yeah. always afraid of the fucking bus. Oh, I man, thought I was going to get kidnapped. I took the bus all the time yeah. in, <laughs> in high school because, like, I, it was only one bus trip, honestly, actually. Yeah. Because I just needed to take the number three. It took me from school to my house and vice versa. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, but it was like an hour trip. Every time people want, want to go, oh, we're going go, to go to, on, to the mall on the bus. I'm like, pass. <laughs> I just did, I didn't like hanging out with people. That was my thing. Yeah. <laughs> I was a homebody, really. I'm like my kids now. But then I, I was I like, can understand get that. out there, do something. But I'm like, <laughs> no, I was like the same way. Exactly. Like, I felt comfort in my home. Yeah, <laughs> like, I fully understand. Yeah, I was like yeah. kick it with my dad if he was watching a movie or something. That's why I like. I watched like a lot of Lethal Weapon, a lot of 48 Hours, all these yeah. different shows, action movies, because my dad would watch them. So I'm like, if I wasn't playing ball, because I was just practicing, if I wasn't practicing, then I was in the house kicking it, drawing, reading comic books, or just, you know, watching movies with pops. My thing is, I was into comic books, and I don't know if you met Eric Saki, he used to draw these, those comics. Um, You know, they would do the, like on the spot art. Basically, well, they would come here and they would like come to our place and then they would draw pictures. Mm-hmm. You know, if you just, you know, they would draw you a caricature or they would draw you a picture of like Spider Man or something. You know, I think I vaguely remember that. Yeah. Well, the uh, Eric, Eric Shock, I wish I had his, um, his Shock, the Shock Reduction, something like that, where they have like a comic book thing mm-hmm. here, a uh, comic book like studio they would, you know, that, th- that he hosts, that he actually, you know, got together with friends and they manage. Yeah. Um, and so they would come in and just do these, do this art and stuff, and they actually sell art, and they have their own comic books, too. I have to find it, find the link to his site, but I went to junior high with this kid, and I was like, and back in the day, we used to be so, once I got to, I came from Alaska and moved to, like, Tucson, we were here, and I used to, you good, uh, I used to, I used to draw, and so, but then this cat, I met this cat, he's like, oh, you like Wolverine? I'm like, I love Wolverine yeah. and X-Men and stuff. And then I saw his art, I'm like, damn, I don't know how to draw. <laughs> but, uh, because this cat, he loves Wolverine, yeah. Wolverine, and he was just an artist. He was seriously, because I was used to drawing, like, fucking Calvin and Hobbes and shit. And he was, like, drawing Wolverine characters and stuff. <laughs> and so we used to just sit there and kick it and read comic books and, and draw, you know? And so we... And then we got to the point where we started drawing our own comic books. I think we worked both for the journalism class, and so we started drawing like comics for like the newspaper for the, you know for the weekly news for the mm-hmm. newsletter. So we used to do that and write articles and such. So now that I think about it, <laughs> I started thinking like, wow, I had a lot of journalism stuff when I was a kid, but I hate yeah, yeah. I hated writing, I hated reading. <laughs> That's what I would say. Yeah. But I think I was, I just hated reading and writing the things that they were making us read and write. Yeah. That's why you're not interested. Yeah. And so we started doing that stuff and we were like heavy into like the comic books and I was reading them a lot. He would let me borrow stuff and cause he would always buy two of the comic book so that he could keep one to read and then maybe let other people borrow and then he would just store the other away and like package it, you know, and just hide it away. <laughs> so so that's back in the day when Spawn was 
Oh, uh, it was up there too, and Pitt and all of them from Pitt. Image Comics. I, I know Image quite well. Actually. Yeah, I think I got the first issue of Pitt. I never read past that either. <laughs> so we got that, and so we used to just read all these comics and do all this stuff. But it's kind of sucked. I wish it didn't happen like this. But you know how life happens. Yep. You know how junior high, you're kicking it with somebody. This is your best friend. Fucking high school happens, mm-hmm. and everything dissolves. Yep. You, Everyone goes into their own fucking cliques, and it just becomes, then, you know, you guys become distant. You know, once, oh, Don't I thought you were going to sneeze. Sorry. Once good friends become distant friends and it kind of sucks like that i hate that i always hated mm-hmm. that like that we grew apart like this because he had his little own drawing click and we would meet up every now and then in our art class i think because mm-hmm. he took art every four years with me i try to mix it up a little bit because i'm like because there was a point there where i was just like fucking art's dorky you yeah. know what i'm saying like yeah. then i stopped doing all that i was still drawing in my notebook and such but i wasn't like into it mm-hmm. you know because oh i was a jock now you know hey girls look girls I'm just Basketball, girls, basketball, girls, but WNBA. mostly, but mostly basketball. <laughs> you know, even girls will tell you like he had issues. <laughs> I had to go and do you hire like I don't want to go out with you. I'm like why? Like because only thing you do is play basketball. Because <laughs> she used to come out like at lunch and just visit me on the court, and she would just sit there and watch me play ball. Because yeah. we would eat lunch and we walk out there together, and I'll just leave her and go play some basketball. <laughs> so she kind of broke up with me because that. I think we got back together. It was, she was like on and off. She didn't want to be my honey, but, you know, she was always my honey. But, uh, all right. And so then later, and so I always hated that, that we grew apart. And so, like, seeing him years later, he was still drawing. And then I'm, like, still, I went to or I went to U of A, majored in fine arts. I was still drawing and doing different mm-hmm. things. And now, look at myself now, I'm like, oh, now I'm still wanting to embrace that. You know, I still want to draw. I still want to do art. I'm still trying to do little weird animations and and now it's like doing more. Mm-hmm. And I'm and I was like, wow, I wish I just didn't do it. I wish we still had that click. But it was kind of cool like seeing him still do it now, you know? Yeah. So that was my thing with comics, you know. I, I always hated that, but you know, he's still a cool guy. He's still around here. Hopefully I can find his link to his own because he's he still draws comics. They yeah. still do stuff on the indie sector. They still go to all those cons. Yeah. We saw I saw him, we I think we saw him up in um Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix yeah. Con. And he was I think he does Tucson Con, but I'm not sure. And Probably. yeah, they travel to these to these different cons and they have booths there. The booths, even drawing takes a lot, but I would still love to draw like a comic strip <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because something that's very simple is just like, look, Alabaster the Turtle. Well, I still want to do him because I love that turtle. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, you know, just do things like that. But it's like weird. It's like I talk about the pseudo adult and how we, it's basically you take in everything that you loved as a kid and just bringing it and doing it as an adult and trying to find and, and finding that joy in it, you know. They always say do what you love or do love what you do. Yeah. And it's so like, you know, why can't you do that? And it kind of sucks because life gets in the way for a lot of people. Exactly. A lot of us, you know. You got to pay. Just even with shit, you. Yeah, you know? you're like, okay, I like talking to my friends and stuff like that. You do all this. But it's like, okay, do I have time to edit? <laughs> like, when do I have time to edit? I got to get this episode out. Like, having like, you know, putting that time aside to edit and mm-hmm. everything, which is kind of cool, which that's why I'm like, okay, I have to dedicate myself more to talking with Britos. Yeah. Just make it talking with Britos. Make it all about us so that we can get more of the name out there and and just focus all the energy there, you know? All the creative energy has to go there for me, in my opinion. So hopefully we can do more with that and do some cool stuff, do some more artful stuff, you know? Because Chris still has, you know, butt shifts and all that, but... Yeah, that's pretty good. They died. They did all, Did you do a die episode? We did. No, you didn't. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't see no damn die episode. <laughs> What's up, we man? We died on stage. Sweet. Are you gonna do? <laughs> are you gonna do anything more with that? Uh, I don't know anymore. Like I, I just. Hey, you guys got on uh, YouTube. Bud Chips, <laughs> Days of Rad. Go check them out. Days it's those short films with I Chris and do crew. More serious stuff with it. Oh, okay. With film. Like I've fallen out of doing like that. Honestly, with Bud Chips, I thought it was just a lot of good humorous jokes and just like little skits kind of thing. Yeah, like a skit. Yeah, you know, I can see that as but just a skit. You I can still more, have that as a skit, sir. I want more dry. I've I've grown more dry over the years. Yeah, with, uh, with the blind writing. Yeah. So I don't know. Okay. I've still got like a ton of scripts written. Yeah. I still have a bunch of skits. But you still keep it as a skit. Yeah. You I can know. keep it fun. You know what I'm saying? You can even record them. You got all the boys. You could even record them on your podcast as, like you were saying, you wanted to do those 
like uh, commercial type things, those yeah. intersections, those in the middle things, in between transitions. Uh, Always use your resources, man. <laughs> just use research. Whatever you have, just use it. Like, okay, if I can't do it this, then I can use it as a freaking podcast. Yeah. You got the equipment, right? Yeah. Just use it, bro. Uh, do you think there's going to be any more? Do you think comic strip movies? Oh, like- I want to see. I would like to see one. I don't think so. Yeah. No. I don't think they're popular enough. I, I think people, we've gone away from it. Now, unless they transition to online yeah. popularity, where people can see it and read it, read it, then I don't think so. I think people might go online to see like movie producers and see what's happening there. Mm-hmm. And if they have popular series, like what if Strong Bad was one? That'd be pretty neat. That'd be pretty cool. I know they've, they've <laughs> actually been releasing a holiday one every year. Apparently. Oh, have they? Yeah, almost. Like they've been doing a little better. They actually had a Halloween one that was really good this year. Yeah. And, see, um, so I, th- I just think if they had comp, I don't know, if they made the transition yeah. and if they actually kept their popularity or their following, mm-hmm. possibly. With Snoopy in them, make a 55. The only other one that they would want to do, most likely, is Calvin and Hobbes. But they ain't going to get that they shit. Can, they can. He said the, never. He's, Got, oh. he's never franchising out. He's just He refuses, and I fully appreciate it. I fl- you know? Me too. I am the same way. I'm like, I don't even want to see it. Yeah. I don't really. I think I wanted maybe to see like a little cartoon special back in the day, yeah. but I'm okay with that now. Yeah. I'm, I'm fine with it. I If you want his stuff, if you want the Calvin and Hobbes, who is his author? God damn it, me either. Uh, just go get the book. They have it in a trade back, in a book, in a paperback. Yep. A paperback and or hardcover. It's the chronicle. It's the volume. All of the comics. You can find them there. They have it. Just go get go it. Amazon. I would say get it for go your kids. Yeah. Get anywhere. it for your children. I want my kid to read it. I'm, I'm wait, waiting to get. I might have to buy two because I don't want him ruining mine. So, <laughs> <laughs> so get him like the paperback. <laughs> I don't want him fucking my shit up. You know what I'm saying? But I'm. I, I so want to, you know, I'm, yeah. I, I'm like, I want, I'm like setting myself up for, um, 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 Failure. for, for dis- dis- disappointment because what if you sit the, you're like, here kid, read this, yeah stand over his shoulder, watch him. Why the fuck is he not laughing? Why is he not laughing? What if he doesn't like it? Yeah. I, like, I feel like that's why I have My it. Brother that's why I have not introduced him happened. to it. Oh, yeah. My nephew, because we showed him Star Wars. Oh, yeah. yeah that's hard, he too, bro. Not, <laughs> he didn't much care for him, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. For something, it's weird because even. It's something just dies in you. When my oldest daughter said, I don't want to play basketball, yeah. something just died in me. I was just like, well, fuck you then, too. I hate you. You know, like I said this to an eight-year-old. No, I just, then I walked away. Fuck you. <laughs> no, I didn't do that shit. It would be I, funny, though, right? But, um, yeah, it's like, or, or when you, like, show them something that you really love, it's like, oh, snap, you're going to love this. And you're waiting for it, waiting for it. Oh, shit. You don't like it. You know, it's so so horrible. But you got to, I've come to the realization, you know, this person is this person. They're their own person. And I realized that, oh man, seriously, as a father, it took me a lot to just realize, because like. Different strokes for different folks. Yeah. If the kid don't like it, you don't like it. You got to, he has his own interests. The kids are all. She has his own, their own interests. It sucks. But I want you, don't ever, don't come out of that movie. Don't, don't tell me though. You want to be able to bond. Yeah, these things I I understand. That's why my dad always showed me this stuff, and because I didn't yeah. like this stuff that he did. But I don't know. Yeah, like even my dad watching I'm, movie, I'm just, those movies like, with him. That, that's like actually kind of like a hidden fear of mine. Clint Eastwood movies. Kid, my dad and I freaking he showed me some of those. I'm like Clint and Pale Rider is freaking dope. <laughs> I fell in love with that shit, man. Right? If, everything that he showed me, except for the horror movies, mm-hmm. I loved because I was like. Oh wow, these look the weapon characters are pretty neat, Dad. I shouldn't be watching this, but I'm doing it anyway. Dog treats. <laughs> look, he's eating dog treats. <laughs> he's crazy, right? <laughs> look at that crazy white dude. Man, I wonder if he's gonna be like Dad, are you too old for this shit? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, you gotta love it though. But yeah, this is also, it's like, come on, kid. Like, because when you have kids, you want them to like this shit. You it's, want, you want like just a replication of yourself, a exactly. representation of yourself within this individual. It's, but if you take a careful look, you know, you can actually identify the things that they will identify to you with, you know, mm-hmm. it's, that they can identify to you with. I don't know. Things that are similar 
that you pass on to them. You know what I'm saying? Because my kid, like, sitting there, he's just like, wow, I like all this stuff. He watches YouTube channels. He likes these video games. He's like, I want to do that. I'm like, what? I want a channel, Dad. He's like, okay, make one. You know what I'm saying? But then I'm like, you can help him with that. That can be something. I'm going to do Let's Plays. Sitting here playing with my kid, playing video games, it's fucking dope. It's actually pretty fun. Except when we play Splatoon and that little fucker kept killing me. And he's talking <laughs> shit. Talking mad shit like, oh, man, you suck. Oh, right. I just killed you. And I, I had to hold it in because I want to stop the shit out of this little dude. Like, you better stop it right now because I, I still get. bring me in <laughs> and be like, hey, you want to play with Chris? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what? What do you want? What do you want, Quinn? What you doing? Where are you at? Where are you at? I wish I had that footage. I wish I had better footage. Could we have it? But we were just setting up sound, trying to sample it, how we're going to work it out. I said, that's why I had to get that separate recorder so I can, I don't want to, because we would, it would did something, you know, record through the Elgato and if you throw on that threshold thing or it cuts out the low, yeah. you know, your low, um, your low pitch. And so if anything was lower, if we were talking kind of lower away from mic, it'll cut it out. It yeah. drops it out. It's a condenser type thing, compressor. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, damn. So it sucks. Well, we have some pretty good comment commentary there, but I couldn't save it because it kept going. Too low. You talk, 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 talk. Stop. Talk, 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 talk. It's like, gosh darn it. And I knew exactly what it was. It's something on Elgato. If you set some filter, then it will not play that sound. Yeah. Well, it's probably to help cut out uh, yes. audio from the TV. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, so... But yeah, this little motherfucker fucking killer. But yeah, I look at those things like, oh yeah, he's just like me or my daughter. Like, oh, she's drawing all these pictures. I'm yeah, like, I was about to say, I see a lot of her like art stuff, you know, with you. Yeah, I'm like, oh, she's just like you. The old introvert thing, like, she's just like you, Jerry. I'm like, oh, but why don't you like sports? No, like, <laughs> well, you know, you harp on the things that you want them to do, but then you don't realize the the things that they are doing or they they do practice. Like, oh yeah, that's totally you. You know, mm-hmm. so. Maybe he might not like Calvin and Hobbes, but yeah. I will disown a little bit of him like if he doesn't like Calvin and Hobbes. But I'm, I'm <laughs> waiting so that he can enjoy the Calvin and Hobbes, you know? It's like, here you go, son. I'm just going to walk away. If I ever have a kid, <laughs> you know, and, like, I show him, like, the NES games and stuff that I love and cherish, uh-huh. he's just going to be like, that's a baby's toy, and just throw it down and go play his fucking What the fuck is this? Rip shit. <laughs> <laughs> he goes into the yeah. He puts on his VR and like whatever. <laughs> That's a baby. Yeah. Toy. And then, like I, I just go play with your toys, Dad. <laughs> I just just go go to the back, go to my study, and go drink my <laughs> stuff away. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's what his image. You're just surrounded by all of this like like antique type stuff. And you're just like. Just a- it's just with bookshelves. Some with Jack Daniels books. on the side table. He's just like <laughs> staring at a wall of just your own good stuff. Like, those were the days. <laughs> no, they're not even antiques. They're just old video games. They're just, and shit. Yeah. Like, there's a power glove. Yeah. <laughs> shit like that. I'm even toe. All right, you guys. I think we're done here. I think we are. <laughs> this is Ben talking with burritos. Episode 20 with Jerry, J.J. Graham, and Christopher the Rupal. All right, that's a wrap, but not a burrito, people. (laughs) And if you want to leave a comment on this episode, go to talkingwithburritos.com slash 20. Or you can go to Talking With Burritos on Facebook. Tweet us at Talking Burritos. One of these days, you got to go get this right. Or you can go on Tumblr, too, Talking With Burritos. You can contact us any other way or just send us an email at feedback at talkingwithburritos.com. Even have a messaging system set up, but through Google Message, but I'm not, I don't, I can't remember that number. And if you want to reach me personally, go JJ at JJ Wayne Graham on Twitter or uh, at the Rupal. Okay, you got, you got, we give you everything. Just, you know. We're gonna love keep us. we're gonna keep pushing this out. Please keep just pushing us. this out until you guys start talking to us. We need the We want to talk to you. Hey, and if you wanna you wanna be on the show, we're trying to hook up some things right now. If you got any show ideas, things, movies that you want us to relate to real life, then come on. We just shoot it to help. us. Shoot us some we, feedback. We love you. We need help. Shoot us some feedback. Notify us. Maybe we'll invite you in on the show. We got some things set up. We can do a blab, we can do a Google Hangout. We're gonna hook this up and try to reach out to you guys. So hey. 
Gary has me in a basement. He says unless I help out more, he won't let me out. Exactly. Help. Oh, and also, if you want to hear more blog, we're trying to blog more. Go over to talkingwithburritos.com. Check out the mini chimmy. That's the blog for all of us. So check us out there. And we will soon be doing videos. So if that's one thing that's like hindering you, if you are rather a YouTuber and you want to like listen to your podcast on YouTube, which I don't get. Some people just need a I face. Get I don't yeah. get it either. It's just the same thing, but people, you can just exactly. see their faces. You just see, that's it. There's no difference. But, and they, you know but what? I heard. I bet five bucks, five bucks says they click on another link and start working on other shit while just listening. Oh, no. I do that, too. Yeah. That's what I do. <laughs> I do it, too. I do so. that with Let's Plays. I just keep that as background noise. I just don't get it, though. Then why don't I just download the podcast? I don't know. Because they do issue audio with both. The most most people do the video, and, and they do the audio, audio as yeah, well. exactly. I don't know. All right. Well, until we figure different out that. for different folks. Exactly. Because I do the same thing. I'm guilty of it myself. You know, some of the podcasts I just won't download, but I'll listen to it on Twitter. I mean, Twitter. Or YouTube. That would be a long-ass episode on Twitter. 120 characters. I know, right? There's going to be all kinds of lines and just text. All right, you guys. That's it for this week. We'll check back with you later. Bye. Keep watching the skies <laughs> over California. Yeah, that was a fucking UFO. Fuck your missile, man. Yeah. That's a UFO. I don't care. UFO. I want to believe that's I a UFO. Believe so you ever say it's a UFO. <laughs> UFO, UFO. x Files coming out. Burritos!